Hey, this is TerraToots with a quick tutorial on recreating the Earth in TerraGen 4. In a previous tutorial, we looked at generating a procedural planetary surface. In this case, we're going for something specific, which means we'll need some image maps, specifically maps for displacement, color, clouds, and a specular map to mask the oceans. There are a variety of resources out there, including some great ones from NASA, and I've included links in the description for the maps I'm using here. We'll start out with the displacement map. The higher resolution the better, and I'm going to be using a 42k map. Go ahead and pull out to a planetary view, and delete the default terrain. We'll add a displacement image map. Select our image, and change the projection type to spherical. In Terrigen, the planet origin is at the North Pole, so we need to bring the shader down so it projects from the center of the planet. We can do this by coming over to the planet, copying the radius, and pasting it as a negative Y value into the image shader. Next come to Displacement, Apply Displacement, and set the amplitude to 8850 meters, about the height of Mount Everest. Next, we'll create another image map shader for the colors. Again, we'll set the image map to spherical, and bring the position down to the center of the planet. If we turn on the color preview, we should have something that looks a lot like Earth already. Next, we're going to give the ocean some shine. We'll do this by adding a new surface layer, and turning off the color, since this is just going to be a container for a reflective shader. We'll add a reflective shader as a child to the reflection holder, and I'm going to bring the roughness of the reflection up to 0.3 to spread the shine out a little bit more. Now we're going to bring in our ocean image mask, using the same settings as the other images, and use this to mask the surface layer holding the reflection. Next, let's take a look at the atmosphere. We'll fade the edge of the atmosphere out into space by increasing the ceiling to 12, and let's give it a little more glow by increasing the haze sun glow amount and the haze sun glow power to 2. Finally, we'll add some clouds. We have a global cloud mask, but we need to give it something to work on. Let's add a global cloud layer, increase the depth for emphasis, bring the density up to 0.01, and increase the coverage to 1, so that we cover the entire planet in a thick layer of clouds. Now we can bring in our cloud mask as an image map. Once again, set to spherical. and attach this to the final density modulator of our cloud layer to cut out some nice clouds. And there we are, a pretty nice looking Earth as a backdrop for your next shots of the space station.